So when we have a combination of polynomial parts and trig function parts, what we want to do is divide the top and bottom of the fraction by the term that's most affected by r going to infinity. So if you look at that in a denominator, the term that's going to be most affected by um, r going to infinity is going to be r. So I'm going to divide every term by r. So my limit is going to become the limit as r goes to infinity, uh, r divided by r plus sine of r divided by r. And then the denominator is going to become 2r divided by r plus 7 divided by r minus 5 times sine of r divided by r. Okay, and so what we see is that some of these terms are going to cancel away, and it's going to be a little bit easier to evaluate the limit. So r divided by r is just going to be 1. Sine of r divided by r. have to remember that sine of r is always less than, greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 1. So this term right here starts to look like some constant between minus 1 and 1 divided by r. And so as r goes to infinity, this whole term is going to go to 0. Down here in the denominator, I'm going to get 2r divided by r. That's going to go to 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. Then 7 divided by r. As r gets large, 7 divided by a large number goes to 0. And similarly, for this sign of r, that 2 is stuck between minus 1 and 1, so that'll be some constant divided by r going to infinity, so this term will go to 0. So if I look at what I have left, I've got now the limit. As r goes to infinity of 1 plus 0 in the numerator, divided by 2 plus 0 minus 0 in the denominator, so that limit's going to be equal to 1 half. 